since that time. Now, the measure has been virtually ignored by the mainstream media. Now, the order essentially gives the president of the United States absolute power over any and all American resources during both times of peace and national crisis. Now, this includes, but is not limited to, food and livestock, water, plants, energy, health resources, transportation, and construction materials, and gives the government the ability to, quote, control the general distribution of any material, including applicable services in the civilian market. Now, White House Press Secretary Jay Carney laughed off a question about the document at today's briefing. Let's take a look. But some online commentary suggested this gives the executive branch power to allocate energy, food, water in either peacetime or wartime. And there are some conservative blogs that are pushing the notion that this suggests the White House is preparing for war with Iran. Can you explain what this executive order was? <laughs> well, I cannot explain that reaction to it. I think it was a fairly uh, standard and routine uh, piece of business. Now, not everybody's laughing about this executive order. In fact, some have suggested this would give the president of the United States the authority to declare basically martial law during times of peace. And to be sure, this is simply the latest string of actions taken by the administration that ignore the basic principles of our Constitution. Joining me now. Good afternoon, everybody. So the government is working under extraordinarily difficult conditions. Many communications are down and many people uh, remain unaccounted for. The scale of the devastation is extraordinary, uh, as I think all of us are seeing on television, and the losses are heartbreaking. I pledged America's continued commitment to save lives and deliver relief and in the long-term effort to rebuild that it is absolutely essential that these efforts are well coordinated with the United Nations, which continues to play an essential role, and with the many international partners and aid organizations that are now on the ground. Search and rescue efforts continue to work, pulling people out of the rubble, often under extraordinarily difficult circumstances. Food, water, and medicine continues to arrive, along with doctors and aid workers. The entire world stands with the government and the people we all see the common humanity that we share. And as the international community continues to respond, I do believe that America has a continued responsibility to act. Our nation has a unique capacity to reach out quickly and broadly and to deliver assistance that can save lives. That responsibility obviously is magnified when the devastation that's been suffered is so near to us. It's characteristic of the American people to help others in time of such severe need. Uh, that's the spirit that we will need to sustain this effort as it goes forward. Uh, there are going to be many difficult days ahead. So, so many people are in need of assistance and the roads are damaged. Food is scarce and so is water. It will take time to establish distribution points so that we can ensure that resources are delivered safely and effectively and in an orderly fashion. We'll do what it takes to save lives. In this effort, I want to thank our people on the ground, our men and women in uniform who have moved so swiftly, our civilians and embassy staff, many of whom suffered their own losses in this tragedy, and those members of search and rescue teams who've left their homes and their families behind to help others. Uh, to all of them, I want you to know that you demonstrate the courage and decency of the American people, and we are extraordinarily proud of you. I also want to thank the American people more broadly. In these tough times, uh, you've shown extraordinary compassion. And tomorrow I will be meeting with President Clinton and President George W. Bush here at the White House to discuss how to enlist and help the American people in this recovery and rebuilding effort going forward. It was an emotional moment. And this President, seeing the devastation around him, passed this message to the American people. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I don't know, folks, if this is real or not. I don't know if it's leaked, if this was something that they did prior to, uh, you know, something that's coming or something that they're planning. Um, you know that their whole plan is order out of chaos. Um, but it was Obama that said that uh, he thought it was more probable of a nuclear weapon being detonated in lower Manhattan than for Russia to attack the United States. 
Um, you know, obviously I'd like to hear your comments on this, what you all think. Do you think this is real? Um, I know they do have the ability to do voiceovers and use another person's voice. I'm not sure if that's what's being done in this situation <clears throat> or not. But um, you do know that Obama can declare martial law and continue as the dictator that he is uh, indefinitely um, if, if uh, there is a national disaster that's bad enough. Um, so that's all it would take. That's really all it would take. Um, I can see, I, I wasn't on board with this before, but I can see how that even Walmarts and uh, places of such could be used as, uh, as Obama was, or as this voice was saying, and this audio was saying, I don't know if it was Obama or not, but um, as positional uh, points where provision can be given out. Um, obviously, if this does happen, it will become a national effort um, to help the wounded and those that are um, in need of assistance. Um, this will not be, obviously, um, isolated to only hospitals, uh, but this is going to be widespread and will most likely involve um, not only professional uh, physicians and uh, nurses and such, but also civilians will be used um, to their capacity as well. Um, I see how this could certainly bring about this New World Order, and I told you days in the past, not too long ago, just a few days ago, I was telling you that the devil knows he has a short time. And so those that are bringing in this new world order are running out of time, and they know they're running out of time. So I can see, and, and, and remember, this is not, my objective is not to invoke fear or to be a fear monger, but just, just to let you know that we do know eventually something to this, you know, effect is going to take place. Something is coming. Um, we do know it's coming. Um, whether this is a real audio from Obama that was leaked or not, that remains to be seen. This audio that I have on here was published on YouTube just yesterday. So this is a brand new audio. I'm not sure where it came from as far as the original I only know where I got it from. Um, so yes, um, uh, you know, there are those that have said that God has revealed to them that Obama was going to continue a third term and that it was going to be indefinite and there would not be another president. I don't know how true that is. Um, I know the visions and the dreams God has given me of the nuclear weapon that would be detonated in the United States. Um, following that, that dream that God gave me, uh, I had a recent, had another one where I was actually, a, God allowed me to be in the nuclear explosion itself in a, in a slow motion uh, dream where I actually saw things in slow motion going through the air. And I remember when I woke up from the dream, literally woke up with a panic attack. That's how bad it was. I was having a panic attack when I woke up out of the dream. And I remember in the dream, what I saw going through the air was so beyond the scope of imagination that I felt it didn't even come from this world. That's why my own, my own natural mind, could, I couldn't wrap my mind around it. Um, Uh, it's, you know, it's not something that anybody with a right mind wants to declare or wants to mention. But as Jesus said, I tell you these things before they come to pass. And it could be that we're telling you these things before they come to pass. I don't know if that was an audio that was leaked and God allowed it to be leaked for the, because he's merciful. I don't know. 
But all I do know is Jesus said, watch and pray that you may be accounted worthy to escape all these things and stand before the Son of Man. God bless you.